Welcome everybody. We're making tamarind juice today in three different ways. My name is Marcel and we're right here in the Chocolate Secrets kitchen. Let's get right into it. All right, so what we're gonna be working with today is obviously it's tamarind juice. So we're gonna need a bowl of tamarinds. We're doing three different versions. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be doing a Caribbean version. Do you know Mama Pam? Owner of Chocolate Secrets is from the Caribbean islands. So to make it truly Caribbean, we got some sugar cane right here. We're gonna do a Indian style. One, because Indian food is my favorite cuisine and my brother-in-law, David, happens to be a military child, so he grew up moving around a lot. Had the opportunity to try a lot of different cuisines from all over the world. Introduced me to this incredible sweetener right here called Jaggery. We're also gonna use some cumin seeds as well as some pink Himalayan salt for the Indian version. The Himalayas are right in India, so it makes sense for us to use this particular salt for the Indian version. Lastly, as I mentioned, we're gonna take a little bit of a trip down to Vietnam by using ginger and granulated sugar. One thing about tamarind that you might need to know is it is actually indigenous to Africa. However, since it is cultivated widely throughout India and most of Southeast Asia, it is not at all uncommon to see not only tamarind leaves, but actual tamarind pods as well to use in various different cuisines across the Southeast Asian continent. So one more little bit of a fun fact that you might need to know. One thing that you can do is actually count the pods of the tamarind fruit to see where in the world your tamarind came from. If it has less than six pods, it comes from Africa. If it has six or more, it comes from Asia. So if you count this one right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we know that this is made coming from India. So we got our ingredients, let's get started. All right, so to get started, we gotta have to soak our tamarinds first and foremost, but before we can do that, we need to go ahead and get them out of this shell right here. We're gonna need a bowl the most fun part of this. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. So do the best that you can to really just get all the shells off and the little stringy stuff. It doesn't take a lot of pressure or anything like that. It pretty much just falls right off. So once you have the amount of tamarinds that you're gonna be using for your recipe, you're gonna soak them in water. And I'm sure the most exciting part of your day is gonna be watching me these shell these tamarinds. So I'm not gonna make you do that. I already had some tamarinds soaking overnight with sugar canes you see right here. You can see if I just press down ever so lightly, it just kind of breaks apart. So what we're gonna do now that we have this soaked overnight, we're gonna add water to our pot, get that boiling up to a rolling boil, and then some magic, and then bow, tamarind juice. For the recipe, you're gonna want about a quart of water for every 15 pods. I have about 30 pods that we had soaking overnight right here with the sugar canes since we're making the Caribbean version. And our water is just starting to come to a boil right here. So what I'm going to do is move this out of the way. We're gonna need a separate bowl. And now that our water is nice and warm, I can actually take this off of the hot plate. And we're gonna pour all of that in. Woo! Don't do what I just did and touch the bottom of the bowl. Because you will get burned. Perfect. Now, if it was just me, I would just use my hands and get this in here, but handy dandy tongs. And all you're gonna do is grab, let's get that a little easier, grab, and you're gonna let it soak even longer for about an hour and a half or so. Bye -bye. As I mentioned, about 30 of them in here for two quarts of water. You're gonna let that sit for about an hour and a half come back, check on it, and then we're gonna grab our strainer. Soon enough, we're gonna have some beautiful Caribbean-inspired tamarind. While we're waiting on this to cool down, we have our water for our other two recipes. So it's gonna be a little bit longer till we get that to a rolling boil. In the meantime, let's learn what this actually is. Tamarind, right? Tamarind is actually going to be indigenous to tropical Africa. So it's gonna grow in places like Cameroon, which I happen to be from, uh, Kenya, Nigeria, I believe as well too. Don't quote me on that, I might be wrong, but tropical Africa, that's what you wanna know. As far as like the taste, it's real earthy, tangy, sweet and sour. The best way I can kind of describe it if you've never tried it is if you mix a lime right over here with a date in a way, you get some of that sourness and zest from the lime combined with a little bit of sweetness from a date, boom. You have a tamarind just like that. If you happen to be in North America, you may not necessarily be used to tamarind or have ever had a chance to try it. If you are going to want to try one of our recipes or just see what tamarind is like for yourself, I would recommend that you go to an Indian market, Asian market, uh, Latin American market. Okay, as I mentioned, we already have our Caribbean version soaking. The water for the Vietnamese and Indian version are almost ready. So what we're gonna do is, I boiled it all in the same pot. We're gonna add half of the water to this bowl for the Indian and the other half right here for the Vietnamese version. I'm not the tallest one in the world, so I need a little bit of extra room. It's about half. 
I may not be half. There you go. A little more even. Perfect. I had this other half soaking overnight as well. You're gonna split that evenly between the two bowls. Really, you're just gonna let it soak until the water cools down and you can handle the uh, tamarind with your hands. You're gonna squeeze the pods, get rid of everything, and then you're gonna strain it. So, see you in about an hour and a half. We'll have three different versions of tamarind juice to enjoy. Okay, so now you have a little bit of time. There's a couple of other steps that you're gonna wanna get ready for for uh, once these are cooled down. Specifically with the Vietnamese recipe, we're gonna use some ginger. So you can take this time right now to get some of your ginger mints as well for the Indian recipe, we're gonna be using cumin as well too. So you can go ahead and take some time to get that rounded up to a nice little powder. So when everything's ready to go, you just add plug and play in short. So grab a little piece of ginger right here and get rid of all of that skin. As you're carving, always be mindful. It's all about safety. So just be mindful that you are cutting away from yourself because the last thing that you want is a little accident as you are trying to make some beautiful tamarind juice. The ginger that you're using for your Vietnamese, you're gonna wanna mince that. It doesn't have to be incredibly fine. Mince it down to the point where it's easier for it to break down when it's simmering in the pot with the, our other ingredients. Something like this right here. As I mentioned, we're gonna need the cumin seeds so I can get these out of the way. Take some of our cumin seeds as well too. I'm gonna be using a mortar and pestle. If you don't happen to have one, you can still very much use the back end of your blade or if you happen to have like a spoon or something like that. So you don't necessarily need a mortar and pestle, but it does make things a lot easier. A little bit of space right here. It is about a, a tablespoon and a half, but if you want more, I'm not gonna show up in your kitchen and be like, hey, you're not following the recipe. Have some fun. Perfect. That is about the consistency that I like on mine right there. Not too fine, but you know, still a little bit of seeds in there. And again, that smell is just radiating. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half. Um, our Caribbean mix has cooled down. So now we can go ahead and extract the seeds from the tamarind, put them in this empty bowl, and finish everything out by straining the remainder in a separate bowl right here. You're gonna grab really as many as you're comfortable with, but I'll do one at a time just so you can see. It's not a difficult process by any means. You simply just squeeze. And bow. You see that? You just hop right out. I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing, but in short, I just wanna give you an idea of what this looks like. It's really simple. Not a lot of effort is required. They, you see, they slip right out of your hands. Okay, we've gotten most of the seeds and sugar cane and miscellaneous out of that bowl. We don't need this anymore, so bye-bye to you. If I didn't say before, you don't have to necessarily be worried about getting all the seeds or pulp or whatever else out of that because you're gonna strain this anyway as the last step. You're gonna need one more bowl. You're gonna need your strainer as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pour that out. Matter of fact, we need a little bit of room. It's kind of a shallow bowl, so I'm gonna hold that with one hand and just let it pour on out and the strainer will do its thing. As it's straining out everything, you might actually need a spoon if there's anything you want to like scrape off like right here as it's coming off that's what the spoon is for but you can really kind of just mush it down get all the liquid out and everything else will be left behind in the strain it's coming out really nice it's a really beautiful brown color on it so i'm going to put this down grab our extra water and that's going to help us strain the rest of this here the rest of that goes in there the more you make this recipe you're going to find how much water in total you're going to use uh, the more water obviously that you use the less concentrated tamarind taste that you'll have and the less water the more concentrated tamarind taste that you'll have as well and tad out just like that i think we are good as far as training is concerned and this right here is what we're left with pure tamarind and uh well in this case sugar cane as well too since we soaked some sugar cane in here it's ready to be enjoyed at this point. Next up, we're gonna finish out everything for the Indian recipe, and then last one is gonna be the Vietnamese recipe as well. Okay, Caribbean recipe is done. Next up is going to be our Indian recipe. Um, remember, there's no real major difference between the Indian and the Caribbean. The difference between the two, however, is that in the Indian one, we have not used any cane sugar to sweeten it. We're gonna use our jaggery right here. We're also gonna add our pink Himalayan salt and then a little bit of cumin powder that I made right here in our mortar and pestle. We're going to first add a little bit of jaggery. Love that pop sound, very satisfying. We're gonna use a teaspoon. I got a quarter teaspoon right here, so I gotta do this four times using our pink Himalayan salt. And I'm actually gonna clear this off and use the same teaspoon. To start off, I'm gonna go with just about a teaspoon as well of cumin powder and see how that tastes. And then based on um, you know my liking, I'll see if I add a little bit more or not. 
perfect. Grab our handy dandy whisk right here. And it's really pretty simple. The uh, jaggery has already kind of started dissolving a little bit in the water. And you're just gonna just mix it around. Oh my God, you can smell the cumin. It's ridiculous. That's the last little bit right there. But it's almost done. As you see, this part is really simple. It smells like a hug. Oh my God, it smells amazing. All right, I think I am just about done mixing. That color looks amazing and smells ridiculous. So all at this point, we're gonna need our handy dandy pitcher. And it's ready to serve with a little bit of ice cubes if you want to or you know however you might particularly enjoy it so now we're ready to just dump straight on in look at that color oh my god that looks amazing and at the very end we have a little bit of cumin seeds that i didn't necessarily fully uh crush when i was uh using the mortar and pestle you can add that in there if you want for extra flavoring but our Indian recipe is ready to serve. We can put that off to the side until we're ready for it. Next up, we're gonna make the concentrate for our Vietnamese recipe. Okay, now we're on to our Vietnamese recipe. Uh, most of the steps have been the uh, pretty much the exact same up to this point. The difference between the Vietnamese and the Indian that we made earlier is in the Vietnamese, we're actually gonna turn this tamarind juice into a tamarind concentrate by adding it to a pot that is over low heat. And into that pot, we're gonna add our minced ginger from earlier and about a half cup of granulated sugar right here. You're gonna let that sit for about 35 minutes, stirring occasionally. You're gonna let that simmer for about 35 minutes. And voila, Vietnamese tamarind. Okay, so to make our concentrate, we're gonna pour the remainder of our tamarind juice into our pot, our minced ginger, and about a half cup of granulated sugar. Pour all of that in there. Give it a nice mix to make sure the ginger, the sugar, as well as the juice itself is nicely mixed. And then, as I mentioned, you're gonna let that come to a simmer on low heat for about 35 minutes. Got everything mixed? I'll see you in about 35 minutes. Okay, all the prep work is done. We've taken our concentrate off of the fire. Everything is cooled down. We put all the ingredients together. Now it's time to taste everything. So. Uh, traditionally, these drinks are served with ice, so I'm going to go ahead and add ice to our individual glasses right here. All right, so first off, if you remember, we made our Caribbean. That is going to be this one right over here. Time to pour it on up. Oh, that looks amazing. Next up, we made our Indian recipe. This is going to be mixed with uh, cumin seeds, pink Himalayan salt, and a little bit of jaggery as well. Ah. You can just smell the aroma everywhere, man. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be amazing. And then last one is gonna be the Vietnamese. If you recall, we had to make the concentrate for this one right here. It's still slightly warm since we just took it off the fire. What we're gonna do to finish this out we're gonna add about a third cup of water into our glass. We're gonna need about one and a half to two tablespoons of our concentrate, which I have a tablespoon right here. I really like a lot of uh, tamarind flavor in mine, so I'm gonna use two tablespoons, but you can start with one and a half if you would like and just kind of figure it out uh, how much you really like to your taste after that. If you recall with the Vietnamese, we also added ginger and uh, about a half cup of granulated sugars. Before we add our last garnish of toasted coconut flakes, we just wanna mix this up a little bit. A lot of the concentrate might sink to the bottom. So don't be shy to get really, to kind of scrape the bottom and get all that concentrate. What is a refreshing drink without lime? We got Caribbean, Indian, Vietnamese and don't be afraid to add some of this lime juice into your actual drink as well for extra flavoring, extra garnish. It looks like they're ready to be drank. You guys ready to taste them? But we can't taste these by ourselves. What's a drink without some friends? So boys, come on through. What do we got here? Good to see you guys. I'm so happy that we're here. We were able to make a tamarind drink today. I got one for each of you all to try. 
for you, Southern. This is gonna be a Caribbean version. It's gonna be uh, straight tamarind, sugar cane, and love, and a little bit of lime. So let me know what you think of awesome. it. I had to make sure for myself that I had the Indian because the cumin seeds. Oh my goodness, the cumin seeds. For you, Armand, we have a bit of a specialty drink. It's going to be the Vietnamese version right here. We made that with our concentrate, the traditional toasted coconut flake garnish, and a little bit of ginger as well too to hit that extra spice. So, go cheers, ahead. Boy. Cheers, boys. Oh my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> No, oh, that's fire, that's bro. That's really good. That's really good. Hey. That's oh, ridiculous, man. bro. That's refreshing. Y'all have to have the Indian version. That is so sweet. I could imagine playing on a beach and just sipping on this. I appreciate you making this, man. This is a new experience for me, so thank you. Armand. You finished it up. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like it was a success. There you go. This is another reason why India has my favorite seat. Oh my God, wow. the cumin is ridiculous. I really want to try that one. Thanks so much again for joining us, guys. My name is Marcel. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the different recipes. If you don't mind me, I'm going to go ahead and take off and enjoy the rest of mine. Have a great day.